and people were like, who is this? And some white chick was like, what? That's Kendrick Lamar. Like, looked at me like I was stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I'm fucking with it. So I've been fucking with Kendrick, but just like I said, when an artist don't feel and it's like, just like I said, music is so, it's so easy that you take it, you, know, you digest it. You so, Kendrick isn't. It's easy to consume. So his love of No, I'm not saying that. Time. What I'm saying is that I don't give a fuck how good his shit is, it ends up evaporating like everybody else shit. So it'd be like, yo, Kendrick, where you at? Nigga, we need something. So this is a good moment because it's like, all right, it brought the nigga Kendrick out of shell or whatever. Hey, but just got still enough. Hey, yo, while we on the topic, bro, they got Roddy Rich up there. They got Dr. Dre. They got Kendrick. It's Beat Bitch Central up there, bro. Like, I'm sorry. I should, I should Watch your mouth before you I'm go. sorry. I should word that different. Back. No, I'm Ooh, well, I mean, oh, there was a whole bunch of DD cases up there, right? You gotta watch. No, for mouth. real, for real, bro. Why you gotta like, watch his mouth, Rocky? Why are you coming out? Say so? Because you're Kendrick. But, but look, this is this is you know I understand saying what the shit not many times, right? So Dr. Dre, they say abuser, right? But I'm my thing is this: when is the last time was he accused of abuse? If he used to do something, he used to do it. If he still do something, that's what he is. You understand? But when people be like, yo, he did the Michelle A, I be like, Michelle A, like, what year was that? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I be confused. No, real, like, real, no, real talk, tax, think about it. Can't culture not. On a study, right? Like, they have to, like, let's say there was a doctor. Now they can't practice being a doctor anymore because they fucked up. Let's say they learned from this. It's like someone who went to jail for whatever they did. Let's say someone did, they sat down for 15. They did a 15 year. They get out, they paid their debt to. They got, they got to, to, to make money that ever. a doctor, let's say, fuck he did. Touch the boy, touch the little girl. I don't know. And I know it, it's, I don't care this, I'm just, he do. Then he get canceled on social media. He loses a lot ever. He's got to figure something out. That's still not good enough for these mother. Like, again, I don't, I don't but like, That's yeah, my it's, issue. it's, it's, like, it's a rap say, ever. Yeah, when do you say it's over? Like, when you say, all right, that's when he's 14 years old, and he don't do that shit no more, 45. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. People always love bringing shit back up nowadays. I mean, like, Coney in here, right? Coney, what do you think about that? Because people always bringing shit back up on niggas. Oh, man, shit. Niggas bring my domestic violence shit every time they get a chance, and they don't know what woman that it happened with. It's just what niggas do. And, they hey, what was it? and when did that happen? Shit. My shit happened back in 2016. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. So it's like, all right, I had a domestic violence issue in 2016. I might have changed my behavior. I don't do it anymore. I've had several women after. It is what it is. But it's like that stink ends up lasting on you forever. And people just keep bringing it up. They're like, well, you're a woman beater. And you're like, nah, I had beat, I had beat a chick up one time. Some shit went down. I was wrong. Or whatever the fuck might be, right? But nobody cares, and that's my thing with history. That's why when the Me Too movement popped, even though I felt like it was like, I felt like I, I, like it was kind of crazy. I felt like it got kind of too strong the movement because I felt like a lot of people started fabricating stories in order to just make money. It's like one of the chicks who said that um that that Russell Simmons had her, you know, she said that yo Russell raped her in two thousand eight. No, Russell raped her in two thousand six. And then she's and then when Russell sent them for uh, a, a, a forensic, a digital forensic person through his iCloud, they seen that she sent this nigga new pictures in 2008. You understand? So I'm like, you said, you said, and then she said the nigga Russell tried to rape her son. You understand what I'm trying to say? So when you hear somebody say something like that, you like, oh, Russell did what? But then you hear on the other hand that she sent him new pictures in 2008. You're like, is this shit true? You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, the but that's what. But it goes back to what about, we. Mm -hmm. Nah, niggas only give a fuck about like what what it looked like for a man to look bad though, because women be going crazy on dudes, and you never hear like the the other side of what be going down. Like, yeah. Shit and everything mm -hmm. else, yeah. it's a lot that go on. I'm quiet. I'm just... quiet on that shit, but I but I, I beat a few asses myself. I'm not gonna. And when it's, nobody go crazy on what women do or how how a, a man can be in this situation, man, there's a lot, a lot of men yeah, that go through this shit. To be emotional 
right? You guys have always said women are emotional, men are logical, all of this extra shit. Niggas so are way when, more emotional. When, when women fly off the handle, mostly because you guys are doing some dirty shit, right? What? It's almost acceptable that men flipping on a woman who has See, no wins. That's the issue in our community, though. We normalize we think it's okay for, for violence and abuse. So I, I grew up with that same type of mentality. Oh, my girl talked to a nigga. I can go do go upside her head, vice versa. So we start normalizing these type of bullshit narratives that allow people to really start doing that crazy shit. And then you dealing with all the, the backlash that would go with that. I mean, most like I'm telling you, man, you said you said it like for me personally, I went through six months of abuser treatment. You sit in them rooms and all the conversations sound the same, and it's coming from every walk of life. It's not just black people. It's just like that shit happening in every in every walk it's, of it's life. Def, it's definitely environmental, and I feel like it's at a certain time in your life you grow out of that stage. I know there was a, a time in my life where it's like, okay, I went through his phone, woo woo woo, and now we're fighting, right? But now as an as a grown woman, I would never do that because I already know that the consequences and repercussions of that shit is much greater. I do feel that you can grow out of that, but there is a difference between a situation that was a heat of the moment and someone who habitually beats women. I never check a phone again in my life. Oh, no, that's like the last thing I, I yeah, give a fuck. I, like shit. you get to a certain point, like my wife, I had my passwords, everything, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Like I, it was never like, that's just the silliest fucking argument in the world. I don't want to check anybody's fucking phone. I don't fucking phone. I don't ever want to go like it just that's just if you I, have I, to, I'm at the point now where I'll reach over if your phone is left next to me and it's open unlocked I will reach over and lock that motherfucker I do not <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying like I'm just not around people like that anymore you know and your energy is a certain thing it's like I'm that's not gonna real. be around anybody like it's it's almost like I'm not gonna have anybody in my house is looking like oh my god he's got this or he's got this like I'm not think I'm always gonna be like I've mastered being the brokest person in the room so I have people, I'm like, all right, cool. They ain't worried about me. And they still, they, people say oh, only broke people hate people. Bullshit. I've had billionaires hate on me, right? So it's like, we just live in a weird time, man. Well, you know, I ain't going to say, man. You took his girl, <laughs> man. You know, people, you know, people, at the end of the day, it don't matter what you got. See, that's, that's the people equate, mm -hmm. people equate money with, with whatever it might be. A lot of times, money is not the common denominator of shit. Right, my success because a lot of times you can say that certain people in certain rooms at certain levels are they're hating on me. You might not have a pot to piss in, but you're still a threat in that space. And a lot of people feel like, oh, this person that they're so successful, they have so much money, they can't possibly be hating on you. That's a motherfucking lie. Man, listen, money don't mean shit, man. I was I was having sex with millionaires, women for a lot of years, and I was popped. You know what I mean? And I used to sit there and ask them, like, yo, what made you fuck with me? Like, this nigga got everything, but he don't got everything. Do you know what I'm saying? Money is not everything. He don't got everything. So You're the thing here. is, she said, she said, I'm sitting in a house beautiful in this big ass house. And she's wearing, I'm wearing this shit looking good. And then in order for me to feel good, I got to get it from a nigga on the internet. Because my nigga never home, he don't comment me. He got seven side bitches in different states. She watching basketball games and, and she know where the nigga seats is and his assigned seats. And she keeps seeing the same bitch in the assigned seats every time he she go that nigga go to that state. So I didn't know nothing about this shit. They start breaking this shit down to me. I'm like, oh shit, the bitch got the TiVo shit. She's showing me who this nigga bitch is then for. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, all right. But the thing is, is that, yeah. And to me, I'm broke at the time. So I'm like, I'm like, damn, this nigga got millions of dollars. We made this girl fuck with me. Got everything. You don't got everything. Women only need three things, attention, affection, and security. And most of us can't even give that shit. Attention, affection, and security. That's like the... Did you flirty tax? Mm -hmm. You get some bread from Shuddy? Nah, I don't, I don't never get no money from women. Jameson, all your takes are trash. I'm just asking <laughs> if he was man. Bro. I was trying to it, say it's it in funny a polite though, way. It's funny how men, men can say that they slept with women who are in, in, in married situations or the girlfriend of, and nobody got to I had a chick, I had, the, I had a chick that like paid for dinner one time and I felt like disrespected because she was like, she was like, oh, well, you know where I'm from. If you got more money, you pay. I said, well, I ain't never had no bitches feed me. Like, unless you cook for me, like, fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I could pay for a lobster tail. You know what I'm saying? So, 
But that's about it. Like, I'm not that kind of nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't, no, ain't enough humans on earth that could be doing shit for me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm an independent dude, bro. I roll by myself. I figure shit out. You know what I mean? I hustle. I'm going to get to it. That's just how I move. Yo, I don't cry about shit. I keep it pushing. I'm not a nigga that's going to dwell on shit. None of that shit. I'm a man's man. I'm good with being that. Tony, you get into a lot of sports, so if you wasn't here, I don't think you were in the room when we were talking about it. What do you think about the Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia? Ryan got his uh, victory snatched from him, and he suspended him. Hey, man, I'm, di- I'm disappointed in Tax and, and Ben, man. What, what's up, fellas, man? Y'all take is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> See, you're Come on, man. <laughs> y'all, y'all take is absolutely disgusting, bro. Listen, these are – hey, listen, at, with elite athletes, bro, listen, to take a performance – Enhancing drug of capacity, bro. Like y'all, y'all saying the nigga not supposed to get his dub back. Yo, like, that's I didn't say hold on, 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 if you if you ever play competitive sports, these guys are fucking elite athletes. So you give a bro, you're talking about already got a, a crazy left hook. He has an advantage because now he's taking shit. Yeah, like yeah. no, I get it. Like, I get it. Listen, no, listen, bro. listen, like, listen. That's listen. one difference between Barry, Barry Bonds hitting home runs that was going three hundred, and then them bitches going into the fucking uh the ocean. Like, come <laughs> on, man. Like, look, <laughs> yo, bro, what you talking about right now? I can't believe y'all. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, but hold on, but hold on, Tony, hold on. So listen, I don't know if you heard earlier, right? So I played football in college for UC Berkeley, for Cal, right? Like I played D1 football. I was the second weakest guy on the team besides the kicker, okay? It was a Jewish cat. And like when we did the NFL combines, right, you do the 225. There was a motherfucker on our team that was bench pressing 41 times. This is in 1991, bro, you know what I'm saying? So I know... I was like, oh, shit, until my sophomore year, I didn't realize what the steroid situation was. Remember, those are anabolic steroids. It was a different – steroids are so sophisticated now. Yeah, that's P-E-D- a fact. Steroids, steroids. It's a, Bro, they have shit now where they're telling me, champ was telling me other people, like, you can put a patch on your balls that will dissolve and be gone by the time the fight is over. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that type mm-hmm. of shit. I get it. Now, the only thing was – and, again, I'm not fucking backing Ryan. Like, Devin's my dude, right? Like, in real life. Like, that motherfucker sat – I was ringside in Francisco, right? Like – and I was supposed to be at this fight, but I had to deal with shit with my kids. All I'm saying is, from the from the testing, they were saying it was like a million of of, of a trace. That was the only thing that kind of was compelling to me. That was it. Other than that, I mean, bro, you cheat, you cheat. Too, too fucking bad. Okay, but like, let's, about, let's think about this shit now. These motherfuckers, you, you look at Victor Conti, who got, you know, all the Balco guys who, who fucking were testing taking tests and passing tests. I just want you niggas to understand what you just said. Somebody put something on their nuts and then they can be they they can be clean by the end of a fight. Yeah. So the fact that we don't see a heavy dosage doesn't mean that there wasn't a heavy dosage. No, nah, look, look, what I was saying was this. I know you don't like, you don't want to be like, look, I don't want to, I don't want to call the fight off. I'll look like a punk, whatever. Bro, he, he went in there 14 or 15 pounds lighter than Ryan. Ryan's like a fucking animal, you know what I'm saying? Plus, look, I don't think Ryan's really right in his mind. No matter how much he says Jesus or anything, I think something's off, right? And I don't know what it is. Dude, you know, he's banned for a fucking year. I'm not complaining about this shit or anything, right? It's just saying, like, it was just a fucked up situation. He walked in the fucking ring. Dude was already, what was he, three or four pounds? But then by the, the time the fight, he was, a, he was huge, the, the hydration thing was right. They didn't have a hydration clause. I mean, he was fucking huge. What about that sus ass referee? That referee was super sus. The referee was sus, though, Tony. I do want to say, real quick, real quick, real quick. We got Premier Pete in the fucking building. What up, Pete, man? man Premier Pete. Pete. Man, man for, 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 this is getting ridiculous. First I of all, I can't tax. believe that we're defending that shit, though. You're not defending like, that shit. <laughs> Like yo, to to say elite athletes cheating isn't a big deal is fucking wow. No, I, what, what is the percentage like really? Garcia really, just got caught. Like really, really low though. I don't yeah. want to hear is low. It's wait, in wait, the wait, system. Wait, that just, means that just, they could have been low, Tony. Not just low. 
tainted. Because okay, like no, 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 no,
won? I said, who wins between oh, the two? Oh, said, no, no, no. She said, she said, who won? So who they, won? they got busy. Nah. They got who busy. Won. Oh, they, they fought each other? Or they really got it in? Not only did they get busy, there was a mother in the there. middle of the fight. The champ had a whole CI down by his neck. I think somebody's phone is fucked up. I'm not, I'm not dropping this until somebody. Hey, yo, mute, mute up, buddy. Yeah, we yeah. Back. yeah, yeah, they, they had that one too, but there was a spectacular Yo, T.I. is a tough nigga, bro. I met T.I. in 2005, right, when he first got a deal with Atlantic. T.I. got walked like a dog in the middle in the middle of the scuffle. Floyd's holding mm. T.I. down by his neck, and Floyd's watch starts to open up. Floyd's adjusting his watch while he's walking T.I. like a dog. <laughs> you saw this shit, Rocky, or you heard this shit? I'm TMT. Understand uh, uh, you know, rocking the money team. Three, four, seven, being a DJ. I saw that. Yeah, I got right. caught smoking weed. Yeah, she was. So you saying you saying that Chip took an L? Ain't no shame in that, man. And he fixed his watch at the same time. That so nigga's that nigga's while, while getting walked, Champ fixed his watch. Yo, that nigga swung on one of the greatest boxes of all time. He a real nigga. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I gotta respect that. That nigga was. See, I got a lot of heart, them niggas about the same size too. That's a fair match. Hey, uh -huh. you, you go fight a pro yeah, box at the same. Yeah. Yeah. In Bollywood right now. That's why. That's why. Gotta be Fire. big body best. Big body best in the Jewish spot. <laughs> uh, a Muslim dude in the Jewish spot. I'm still shocked. I think Floyd could beat up a heavyweight. That's that's wild to me. Hell, nigga. Nah, I think Floyd could make a heavyweight run. <laughs> Man, Rocky fucked up whole whole game. Whole none past nobody. Yo, heavyweight boxers, their hits are crazy. Oh, the nigga get to hit him. A little nigga can't hit Floyd. Yeah, not, if Javante Davis, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, what about that? Tyson versus Jake Paul. I watched the fight already. It had to be a special. You know, Jake Paul is not a heavyweight, guys. We know that Tyson's gonna so called fight. Hey, bro, I watched Floyd and Ricky had to fight out. over, and that's when I okay. realized that Daniel Floyd was a dangerous human being. He threw about 30 and they hit him once. And was, uh, mm -hmm. like, he's the definition of the Matrix when it comes to defense. I used to shit on Floyd. I used to be like, oh, he's run. This nigga's scared to get hit. And then I had to realize that you ain't supposed to get hit in the fight. Yes, the tact is right. That defensive tactic <laughs> is for real. Matter if the punches one punch lands and it's over. No, so that defense is for real though. He he don't make his points. That is not possible. Like that, it really a heavyweight versus one hundred forty-seven pounders is not gonna work. I mean, I get what you mean. A, a bigger nigga would beat somebody smaller, but at the same time, that defensive tactic no, is for real. Floyd is Look fast. At Roy Jones hell, versus that nigga, that nigga Deontay is not landing shit on Floyd, bro. I'm what happens sorry. when you get in the clinch. Floyd is fast as hell. No, he, he got to break his power. Again, I know what you mean. A big ass like this shit out of a little nigga. David it Tool will get. No. Well, it's just the body, man. It's yeah, so if he goes to the body. In theory, in theory, that sounds good. Exactly. Not theory, theory, it's who, proven, the defensive it's ass proven nigga fact. Yeah, I've seen when heavyweights, uh, when lightweights go up in weight, how their punches don't even hurt the dudes. That's factually proven. There's never been someone who moved up and been able to dominate other divisions. Going so heavy with his ass. Roy Jones is talking about. He did one hit. Broke my heart. He fed Puerto Rican dude and went back down to the divisions he was comfortable at. Was it nah, it was um Beast. I forgot his name. He was a good heavyweight, but he, no, that's true. Trinidad. Cool. He beat Trinidad. Easy. So, what are you guys' thoughts that Shakur Shakur can't get a get a fight? No one wants to fight. Or well, how you feel about that, JJ? Uh, Wait, can I get my hiring. question off in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Shakur got a fight. July 6th. Hey, you right. But none of the big dogs want to take it. The nigga that uh, Frank, Frank Martin beat. Nah, Javante's the king, man. You admit that Frank was getting some shit off? Yeah, yeah he definitely got it off. Nah, Frank, Frank, Frank is good. He's good. Frank is good. Uh, I to Frank. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to give y'all some breaking news, man. 
I'm gonna give y'all some real news. I know, I know Frank personally. I was at that nigga camp. He got fucked over, man. He fought that shit like he went against a machine, and he didn't have a, he didn't have the opportunity to have a fully loaded clip. Man, I what you mean? What you mean? What does that mean? Earl, 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 his promoter, they they didn't put the, they should have put some money behind that boy. They right. need to put some money how, how behind. Would, how would money have helped them from a knockout blow? Training. I mean, even from like his whole training camp and all that shit was like. I ain't see Earl not one time. It was a, it, it was a lot of things missing that he should have had for that that magnitude of a fight. That shit was bullshit. Mm. They left that, they left that nigga hanging. Man. I'm disgusted in that shit. He ain't gonna say it. Mm. But they fucked, they fucked that nigga though. That nigga went against a machine with nothing, bro. He he went out there, Frank, a real nigga, bro. That nigga just went up against the best boxer in the fucking world. Like that nigga did that shit out of the mud, nigga. He was like mm. real talk. He looks like he'll talk out the mud by himself. I'm talking about like, nigga, you, you got a nigga like Earl, Earl that got that talent. You supposed to be working with that nigga, bro. Earl's supposed to be on that nigga's shoulder, like giving them game and shit. Like, yo, nigga, I'm, I'm disappointed from that shit. Like, I, I was an Earl Spence fan. I'm coming this shit like, damn, nigga. I'm like, where EJ at? I mean, Earl. Hey, my nigga, like, I mean, you I, ain't, I, show, I felt, I felt you like ain't Frank, showing up I, for this shit? Yeah, Frank, Frank did look good. He did. I'm proud of that nigga. He, you know, if y'all understand that nigga, went, he did that shit like broke down there, bro. That nigga did that shit. Imagine going up against a fucking machine. Tank got everything. Got the money. He got, and they got chrome, chrome hard fucking heavy bags and shit. <laughs> Man, that yo, shit's real so talk. fly, bro. Hey, bro, this nigga, this nigga tank shit really going crazy. Frank, you fighting against food, the best nutrition, the best coaches, the best everything. Please, and you niggas on your side, leaving you and that bitch, you fighting like nigga, you you, you coming out the hood. If y'all understand, no, what hey, you hey, you that shit was that amazing, shit. bro. You I'm telling you, shit, he said amazing, one bro. thing that was a, no. He said he said a key word. When I was champ for other people, nutrition though doesn't just mean food. It's so much more than what he's talking. That nutrition shit is a big thing, mm -hmm. and some camps got it, some don't. You know, yeah, it's like you're training it's, 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 the right well, shit. I'm, like, I'm gonna say, I'm, I will say this, bro. I'm a professional that's athlete, true. so I know what it takes, man. Yeah. I can look at that but shit. That's 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 he's going against the machine. Some people are just gifted. Though. I've been through, I will say, I do eight camps from beginning to the end. And champ eats McDonald's, drinks Coca Cola, and has Twizzlers for breakfast. So some people are just naturally gifted. In no, Rocky, you are right. Because in the refrigerator, and the other refrigerator, like a guest one, he has seventy-five Mountain Dews in there, Dr Pepper, Coke, Sprites. Listen, he loves Twizzlers. That's he practical. fucking loves Twizzlers. He'll fucking eat. He'll be like, Rocky, we're at the movies one night, and he's eating fucking bags of sour candy. I'm about to have diarrhea from eating all this shit. So much. I just. <laughs> Yeah, but how much work the fuck out this shit? Yeah, clean that shit out. Oh, ridiculous, ridiculous. You go into the boxing gym, bro. It's 95 fucking degrees in there. Like, hey, champ, can we turn the fucking AC on? Mm -hmm. the fuck no, no, the, the, fire, the fireplace is on in 110 degree Vegas weather. The place is on. Do you guys want to see um, Tank and Frank rematch? No. No, not at all. Not at all. That's whack. Why? I want to see. I want to see Ryan, Ryan, see Ryan and him go at it. Gervonta won. Like it wasn't like that close. Far. You smacked that nigga, bro. It wasn't that close, but like, like Tony was saying, Frank, I wasn't Frank that didn't close. have the armor. Because he got knocked in out, fact, Tony. In fact, I want to say this. I want to say he Frank definitely got knocked out, but how was it not close? Frank nah, was leading the fucking fight. Though, Tony, you give him the <laughs> grade. Yeah, no, 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 no. Frank, Frank, was, Frank was definitely he won the first four rounds. That's bro, what, that that's Tank style. Yeah, that's bro. the style. That's Floyd Mayweather's. Style. Oh man, come on, my Mayweather god, oh, my fucking thing. god, nigga was getting tapped on. Nigga, too that's his style. Stop it. Now, this is. No, is it is it true yeah. Diddy was fucking um uh, um DJ Clue? Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Oh, whoa. I just got that out of nowhere. Oh my god! No, I just got that out of nowhere. I'm just asking. Somebody just said, just told me that. Someone just said they was in a studio and he slid off with DJ Clue and they they put their hand in the door. And it was going down. I just mm -hmm. wanted to ask if anybody could verify. I wouldn't put any money on that. it. Not happening. Envy, envy, envy. That's crazy. Cool. 
I could see that maybe oh, happening. You know? it's, 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 it's such a random name that I just had to believe it. I said, this shit might be true. Where the fuck did this come from? DJ Cool and Diddy. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to give you guys the, the 800 number so you guys can start getting anonymous shit since you guys are too scared to speak up. Everybody want to be a speaker and don't say shit on here. <laughs> nah, yeah. listen. Um, shout out to DJ Cool. I fuck with your shit. I don't be mad at sex. The other people do. I don't got nothing. New. I don't got nothing to do with how a nigga have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Get the rainbow. What are you into? You into beloved? <laughs> I ain't tripping. You took a shot. You just said I, I don't have money on it not happening. What did you mean by that? You know exactly what I meant by you that. Have some background knowledge, or are you just gonna hold that in? Okay. Are you saying that he prefers running into the back door instead of the front door? <laughs> Rocky always fake waking it up. Yeah, man. she was just like, like, like she be like, well, she you always want to get spicy to spin. You always, you oh, do that. Oh God, bro. Yeah. You do that. Yes. Yeah, man. Nah, but I yeah. said he was sucking dick. Take it how you take it. Wait, wait literally, <laughs> take it how you take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the thing. I'm not I'm not monetizing on spaces right now. The only person that's gonna eat off of that right now would be Jenny to stop whose fingers on record all day, every day. But I will all tell right. you this, Rocky got all the a whole lot of shit and sold his motherfucking stone. So coming soon. Danny getting rich. Uh-huh. Joe Button about to sue Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. Joe Button coming for one lines are still intact. Why do you think he's going to sue Danny for? <laughs> Then he goes to Danny for using his name. He said, "He said, he said, Danny not outside." Danny's copyright infringement. <laughs> no, I'm not, man. The, but I was gonna ask Ben Boulder. Danny how, be switching up and 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 platforming the ops. I was gonna ask Ben Boulder how he cur- a skirt around <laughs> copyright with his chain, so I can find a way to skirt around copyright. But uh, what you mean? What? Did what? you say what? Roy, you was happy Rolls Royce didn't um sue you? I assume you was like probably infringing on something. Oh yeah, because so yeah, yeah, look at my yeah, BB logo. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It looks just my like BB you. logo. I've had since two. I've had it since 2006, right? And I basically made it look like they um. Well, not 2012, but they had a few people that they wanted to reach. Rolls Royce North America wanted to reach out to a few people that were influential. Influencers weren't a thing back then, and they were given a ghost for a year for um like a certain amount of posts and certain things i was like shit i'll do that shit well, yeah was that they saw my logo because uh, 2012 oh because yeah they did something a couple years later where they was like fucking give me them shits for the load of influences i mean bro they, they, they hooked me up for the car for a year another famous rapper who i'm not gonna mention her name because it's just not worth the, the headache mm-hmm. um but um my golf tournament last year, we gave away a Rolls Royce to the hole in one contest. They involved, were involved in that. This year it was a Bentley. So, like, I don't know, man. You know, if, if you can just slide under the radar and be cool, I guess it's like, or maybe it's not a big enough fish to fry like for them, which I hope that's it. Did you ever uh, with Johnny Dan? Did I ever what? Did you ever piece it up with Johnny Dan? No, bro, he's four foot 11. Oh shit! I guess gotcha. man. I'm six. I'm six feet. Damn, five foot. I'm six, I'm six feet tall. Ben, 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 chill out, Ben. You know he's mob time. We don't want any Houston, Los Angeles. Uh, it's the start issues. of the summer. You know I, mean? I just this came to send tax blessings over here. I don't know what I'm getting into over here. <laughs> ben, what's good, Dang. Ben? Niggas got Johnny Dang beef. I'm crying. So you saying if a nigga under five six, they ain't no piecing it up? It's be forever, huh, Ben? What's up, Mike? Kendrick? No, I mean, bro, it's like a, I mean, he's just, he's just a small, I'd be like, that's like, come on. He's a harmless guy. Oh, that's an insult. He's a harmless guy. I heard he's a black belt. Who? Yeah. Steven Seagal taught him. So and, he crazy, and he got some crazy, and he got some crazy guys, I don't know if you take him, dog. I'm being real. The white boy, Acha, what if he decide to bite you with them girls? What are you gonna do? Yeah, to jump up and put you with an uppercut. No, he definitely do look like he bites. Yeah, he got that kind of jaw. Oh. Is that Premium Pete? 
That is pre- bro. I tried to introduce yeah, him. This I, was I, like I tried to bring him up. Us. I tried to bring him up like two times. I invited He's him up. I think I've been up. Page. I've been up. Oh, yeah, uh, that's why. Okay. That's why. Right. Man, I'm walking other people's house. Let them eat. Let them what, happened, <laughs> what, happened to your, what happened to your YouTube channel? You had a great content there. It seems largely dormant. What happened? Well, YouTube for me. I mean, we were late to YouTube anyway. I mean, I. I don't consider myself only to thing. I mean, audio. You think about Combat Jack show. Some of the best shows are audio. And, um, you know, so, you know, it's not the only thing. And I think that, you know, video uh, is obviously, you know, the best thing now. But, uh, and, I'll, and, and I'll do more. But, you know, it's, uh, there's so many other things to do, man. You know what I mean? Um, and really just um, for me, you know. Um, so. Yeah, absolutely. I don't um, know. You got demonetized or something. Like, nah, nah, nah. It's just, it's just, man, you know, it's like some things, man, is, I've always done so many things. So to be honest with you, it's like, you know, like I'm, I'm for now, it's like, I've really been spending a lot of time with my son. I had a separation and I wanted to make sure, um, that I really put that time in. So, you know, yeah. but we always moving, man. So you always show, moving you, you show us your, you show, show us <laughs> No, I'm always taxed. Listen, I'm always. I'm still doing things. I'm oh, still driving. So. <laughs> nah, listen, I'm up there to say love to you. I don't know. I'm under the hot seat now. You know what I mean? Never do over hey, yo, P, can I tell you a quick story? Nah, bro? it's not about that. I mean, I'm just saying finding more time. Listen, let me explain to you. Don't know how you sleep. Because, P, if you think people are going to do everything. Yo, what if you make $17 off YouTube? Yeah, you know everybody. what I'm saying? It's like you get a yo, million make views. Sure you get, you get on YouTube. Million. Yeah. Nigga, fuck YouTube, nigga. I ain't saying YouTube not paying certain people. They are. But I know a person who gets like two million hits like every other week. This girl, she like makes creams and all kinds of shit. And them niggas pay her what the fuck they want. Like she doesn't get, she might get more hits some days and they, they, they give her less check than what they gave her the week before. Like, I don't understand how that shit work. But the visibility YouTube offers is second to none. It's kind of wild. It is true. It is true. But, hold hold yeah. on. Tax. Tax. Who was the dude that was like, he, he was after Cat Williams. He was either the immediate next guest or the guest after that on, on Club Shay Shay. He's a black comedian. Is it Wayne's name? Country Wayne. Country Wayne. Country Wayne. Oh, Country Wayne. Did you hear what he said he was doing on monetization with, with Facebook? And this, he's saying he's making, yeah, millions a oh, month. I don't believe that. I know because Facebook is different. I know I know somebody right now, somebody who might be in the chat actually, who, who cleared a million, who, who's clearing a million off sales, off t-shirts, off promoting them on Facebook. You know what I mean? And because it's the way Facebook is though, like the way you could um, advertise on there. So you could do a lot and Facebook will curse your algorithm. Like if you post like YouTube links directly to it, so you, you put the video directly on it. You know what I mean? instead but like facebook is a is a different beast because you got to remember it's a different demographic where you got like instagram a crap it'll be that crowd of just the bitches who want to take pictures in front of bentley's and the niggas that want to be in strip clubs or some shit you understand so facebook will get you exposed to the grandmothers you know what i mean the um the guy that doesn't yeah. come outside so it's like a completely different world and a lot of people neglect that shit and they fail in doing it Right, I remember that. I mean, bro, I'm not a fan of Facebook. Elite Daily, Elite Daily. Y'all remember that shit? Does that yeah. shit still exist? I believe so. Yeah, but Elite Daily. I was up there one day a couple years ago, and the motherfuckers. I remember they fired somebody because he posted something to every social media except Facebook, and the dude did it twice. And he said no. He could have left everything else alone and didn't post on and and post it on Facebook, and he would have kept his job. He said because he didn't post on Facebook twice, he has to go. Facebook is the our most important market. You know what I mean? And I was like, damn, word. But you know, I mean, bro. <clears throat> no, I'm just saying, like, Instagram right now, everyone is suffering a severe algorithm. Like, there's been people I know who actually have real seven million followers, and they're getting like fifteen hundred likes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes even six hundred likes. Like it's fucked shit, bro. up, bro. Like nobody's sent wrong shit. But I'm talking about these. These are people. People who are trying to promote their brands, yeah. and that's how they so live. Look, I can show you. I can so show like you, you can't. six figures a month that we're monetizing, and I got some following. It's just all about how you market your product. 
And that's one of the biggest things I say, like most of y'all is like, all y'all should be monetizing your following on social media, products, ebooks, stuff I am. like that. I am. Yeah, man. It's I am. I'm dog. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight. I'm not talking about me. I'm straight. Like I, I'm, I, I do well. Engagement farming and nothing. I know what my audience is. No, he's talking, uh, you know, he, peasants over here. Not and been balling. <laughs> no, I'm just I saying. I don't remember them shit. No, but it's a yeah, billion it's just, dollar a day. That's the thing. I just think people. Yeah. But now they everybody totally, now overlooking that. Don't know shit. how to use your voice. Yeah, it's too. overlooking it. It's oh, it's so many people overlooking. The money right in front of you is, is literally people that are changing their lives using digital products and coaching and talking about their life experiences. That shit I'm talking about. I'm watching people that came from pandemic or whatever, whether they were scammers or, or legit uh, business people just coming out and positioning their brand, monetizing their brand. Like I'm telling y'all, all y'all should be monetizing your brand. It's so much money out here. It's crazy. Of course. It's, they're always been. I think there's just more, you know, it's a, there's a lot more opportunity now. You know, I think about it like when I came up, you know, even like like I had a paper route. You know what I mean? Like I was trying to get Jordans with a paper route, you know, and, 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 and like, you know, a lot of a lot, a lot of kids these days could get to the paper real quick. Um, in the podcast space, you think about like a lot of the work that was laid down is so much more easier to make money now. I remember people laughing at us, um, you know, kind of oh, a podcast. That's cute. Um, you know, you think about it, even sneakers, Ben, you know, billion dollar industry, you know, podcasts, billion dollar industry, these were, were both, you know, communities that really didn't, you know, people didn't see all that. I mean, bro, when I started, when I started podcast, there was 380,000 podcasts on the Apple network, right? There's fucking over 3.5 million now. Hey, listen, bro, if you need any kind of help, I own the space. Look, so Premium Pete is in here, dude, the person who put me on a first podcast ever was that rest Rest in peace peace. kind of and i I did three fucking pete if i'm wrong i don't know it was like three hours one of the longest then i went on breakfast club and breakfast club was like the longest i did mike tyson's hot boxing that was like two and a half three hours because you know there's always so much to say my story is so crazy but like look bro there is a lot and and the thing is the, the problem with all everyone who has a microphone and is recording and has the same setup, they really don't got shit to say. And at the same time, they have no consistency. You know, I'm 417 episodes deep now. Yo, how long did it take you, you, you gotta, to, gotta, how long you, did it take you to build it up when you started seeing the traction to your shit? Because a lot of people gonna come out and do 10 episodes and they supposed to pop and they don't mm-hmm. understand that sometimes it takes people That's a never gonna to, happen. to build it up. It, it took like a year, two years almost. Took a couple of years. But did you already have an audience? But also, I did have an audience, but that, look at yeah, it's like the girls who are showing. She doesn't have an audience for people to listen to. Nah, but so keep in different. mind, and I'm going to give you. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. being all love and hip hop. They don't sell albums. But um, Ben, I'm going to tell you, I'll give you, I'll give you your flowers. <laughs> you know, you think about it, you're a great storyteller. You've been involved in so many great moments of culture. You know, so, so the, when I, you know, you put the work in, uh, you know, I remember like you going on shows and people like, oh, the stories are crazy. And now you have your own podcast deep in. And, and like, that's not something that just happened. That's something that was meant to be. No, no, and, not and, at and, all. You know, keep on going. You know, I salute you for it, my brother. I appreciate you, bro. You know, like there was things back in the day when we were on message forums, right? Back like in 2001, 2002. When the internet was just getting started, and people and ball are so full of shit. He's so fucking. He's a fucking liar. This yada yada. This, bro. Once Twitter cracked off, Ice T, Jay Z. People were like, "Nah, dog." Ash was like, "What the fuck is you talking about, bro?" He was there with day one at Rock. You know this and that, whatever. People were, there. Were, then they realized that at that point, all the slander. Some people were still like, they just didn't like me, and that's fine. Not everyone got a lot. Like, yeah, you're right. I mean, I've been for for a long time, and I've been around some crazy shit. That's why I kind of threw that moniker out there, the Forest Pop. Because I've been around so many different eras. The only thing is with this new era, I think like probably four years ago, I gave up. I don't try to keep, I, I just don't, I don't listen to any new music. I'm an old, I listen to Bob Marley and old classic hip hop shit and other shit. I just don't listen to anything really new. Yo, Tony, why you don't got a podcast? Man, you sleep. You sleep. I do got my podcast. What's your name of your podcast? Peace on you sleep. <laughs> oh, man. It's called Get Your Ass Up. No, I see, listen, I was watching Tony because the reason I was watching him is because 
I started seeing him when he was on um, DJ Envy, and I used to be laughing at the shit or whatever. But then I was like, oh, this nigga is the, uh, the representation there. Huh? Said, Holding the Tony? Attack, attack, attack all right, all right. Yeah, 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 pardon me. Pardon me. You're right. The right. podcast wasn't though, Tony. What happened? Man, I've been focused on building this uh, AI technology. I got something crazy I built out, man. I, um, I've been I've been in the lab. I got a, a, a real big project I'm, I'm releasing right now. But but one of the things, bro, like I I I did this podcast called Get Your Ass Up. I started grinding and doing my own shit, but it it was one one of the biggest things I understood. Once you start your own your own brand, like too many people be afraid to spend money into like investing into getting you know marketing and and getting visibility. I I didn't have a big following at first. I started mm-hmm. leveraging other people platforms. I mean, shit, I four hundred thousand a while on Gilly to be on million dollars worth of game. So, hey man, I I I paid four hundred k. I made two hundred fifty thousand the first week. See, see, say God, but look, my Wait, first week, okay, yeah, my first week I made two hundred. So you know, I'm starting to make more money just because I was able to get visibility to my product. I done sold yeah, eighty thousand people. Now I got eighty thousand people real estate information. You pay four. Think about how powerful that is. You pay four hundred to Gideon Wallow to be on their platform, like as an integrated ad or something. Yeah, we doing business. Okay. Yeah, somebody who just recently paid like five hundred thousand to talk about nothing at all. <laughs> like, Man, tax. I remember when you told Gilly you have a podcast. <laughs> what you say? I said I remember when you brought up Gilly to the to the, the studio and he had a po- like early time about getting a podcast. It's crazy to hear like the involvement of. Building a platform, Man, and they, and they put in a lot of work. Good. They didn't even realize, you know, the potential that they had to, to advertise. And I think they knew slightly, but I was just being a real nigga. I was making so much money, I just started giving them more like man they I, they had brought me in only for like five thousand six thousand hey they each is their own man i don't i, I ain't questioning you you know i'm, I'm sending blessings yeah but I, I just yeah i just think everybody gotta understand man that shit it just kind of naturally evolved because it was it was like the visibility was making my brand blow up now i'm getting more people on my on my products and services and they would you know they was benefiting too so shit it was it was a win-win for everybody like yo and then you know when we fell out Niggas heard that I paid. They was like, "Oh shit, I want to pay." So, you know, everybody trying to get on that motherfucker because it's like that shit really like, hey, they platform is a dope platform. You know, everybody watch that shit, and, and you know, you, you gonna get you gonna get your money back. You gotta be okay so, with investing. I mean, why do you think you got so much friction uh, out here, bro? Because I stand on business. I tell the truth. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only reason I I, I like Tony because I said I said I see I see he's an independent thinker, and I I don't trust motherfuckers out here to think in groups for real because the group be dumb as a motherfucker, and it's because they didn't critically analyze whatever the fuck the groups is pushing out. You know what I mean? So even when the shit first started going on with Envy, I'm paying attention because I already knew that that shit was a Ponzi scheme. You know what I mean? But I just wasn't a rat. I wasn't gonna bust out and be like, yo, bro, that shit is fraud. What is y'all doing? Like, nigga, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, niggas know what the fuck that shit is. Niggas ain't stupid. This Spanish nigga never said nothing slick. Like, but I didn't know how people didn't pick it up. But that's not my job to be reporting people. You know what I mean? But when I started seeing it, I'm like, damn, this motherfucker's smart. And he can see the shit I'm watching it. And I'm like, damn, this nigga's an independent thinker because everybody want to go against him. But he's still standing on what he want to stand on. So that's a nigga standing on his truth. These motherfuckers, you can't stand it. I sat there and said I didn't like Kendrick Lash's record. It wasn't that I didn't like the record. I didn't like the 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 the, the, um, the production. I don't like kind of like that West Coast production art right there. So when I said I didn't like it, niggas was like, "Oh, you dick rider, you love Drake so much." I'm like, "Nigga, what? Like, what the fuck are you talking? I don't give a fuck about Drake. Like, <laughs> like I'm this is my music opinion, but I'm standing on what the fuck I like. Niggas like, if I don't like it, I don't like it." Yeah saying shit to me to make me change into believing that it's all right you know what i mean but let me ask you a question tony did you think did you think that the dj envy knew scam yeah i knew he knew it was a scam mm. you know oh shit i know too many people. hold the fuck up tony Yo. tony i didn't realize who i was talking to <laughs> oh my <laughs> god bro because <laughs> no nah, because you know like i mean bro i'm friends with 
envy, whatever. I don't get, I've never just real light acquaintances, right? But you know, baller busters did that whole thing. And those are my people. And like, I didn't know you was, oh my God, bro. I didn't know. I thought it was the dude, though, Caesar, whatever his name was. Both of them. Listen. Yeah, 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 so cool. I'm, I'm going to right? tell, tell you how, like, from the backstory, how everything really played out. I was on live talking to a uh, uh, big business, Greg Parker. And um, he was in his, his own little scam situation. And Jose, the credit dude who, who you rock with, Envy and Caesar, came on my live and was like, yo, uh, I got scammed out of $100,000, almost 200000 I was like, damn, by who? And he came, he's like, I ain't going to say it online. So he called me, you know, after the live, and he was like, yo, Envy and uh, Caesar got me for 150, dollars almost 200000 And there's a whole lot of other people that's also uh, in the scam shit. So as he was on my live saying that shit, a lot of people are uh, commenting and tagging DJ Envy and Rick Ross because Ross and Envy had a beef at the same time. So Envy called me. He on the phone. He gave me basically the rundown saying that he knew that the shit was fucked up and that the feds was involved and everything. So we get off there. He was like, yo, bro, let me get on your live with you and we can clear the air up because I know a lot of your audience was, was like trying to, you know, you know, you know, get me. Me in. So I was like, all right, bet we do the live then. So we go on the live and I'm like asking them questions or whatever. And he's like, yo, you a clout chaser. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, hold on, man. Like, I wasn't even really, I ain't really even care about the situation at the beginning. But then, like, we got like 7,000 people watching this motherfucking live. I mean, it's like, this, this live crazy as a motherfucker. And you just called me a clout chaser. And I'm watching the whole screen of people now calling me a clout chaser. And I know that the conversation that me and Envy just had where the nigga told me that the feds was involved, he was talking to attorneys, he was like telling me all the like shit that was really going on. So I'm like, damn, bro, why you just try to make me look like shit on the live? Now I'm gonna make this shit personal because you don't play with my face. So as he was on the live with me, victims were sending me the screenshots of their contracts, bounce checks, like 500,000, a million dollars, like real crazy numbers, like outrageous numbers. And it wasn't what it wasn't like one or two people. It was like, I'm getting like 15, 20 people sending me 500,000, 100,000, 250, like, and all of them had the same exact contract. And then I was looking at the contract and all the contracts had the same motherfucking houses on it. So for the people that don't know, I'm a real estate investor. My dad been in real estate for about 30, 30 plus years, man, we got about $100 million worth of real estate in North Carolina. So I know a little bit about contracts. I know, you know, the product, bro, this is probably one of the biggest Ponzi schemes you can see because I already knew just based off, I went to one of the conferences that they had at the Java Center. I knew how many motherfuckers that they had coming in them, uh, in them events. And, and I'm, a, I'm an internet marketer, so I'm, a, shit crazy. So I'm an internet marketer, so I understand from a from a marketing perspective, if you just closing at eight to twelve percent of what they had in the room, that these niggas was getting a, a, a minimum investment of a hundred thousand, and they were going to be probably getting a hundred plus people at each one of their uh, uh, seminars. So I'm like, yo, they done ran up a bag. I said, got to be about a hundred million. I, I knew instantly the numbers had to be crazy. Then I started having like real niggas hitting me up, like behind the scenes, like now I ain't gonna call no no big dogs out, but like big dogs just like hit me up, like. Hey, yo, we need you to chill, bro. Like, this shit, like, I, I nigga shit in me. And I'm like, hey, man, fuck y'all niggas. Like, this is the same shit that happened when Jay Morrison stole my money. Y'all niggas was quiet. I don't respect no nigga that I know a nigga doing foul business to people and won't say nothing about it. See, y'all niggas be okay until it happened to you. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. I, I was like, nigga, I, I, nigga, somebody gonna die, take my money. Jay out here just took 100000 from me. And then I'm looking at all the money that, like, all these people that was looking to really invest in and make money and change their life. They're getting guaranteed contracts and everybody got lied to and played. So you can imagine all these people behind the scenes reaching out to Envy for months on months and months and Envy not saying shit publicly, but he's still promoting that shit to the people saying, come invest with us. So when people say, hey, why why you say DJ Envy knew? First off, the nigga told me, uh, straight, Omi in the Hellcat was the first nigga that let me know for a fact because Omi went to him with $2 million and the nigga told him that, Envy told him, nah, it's a no-go, bro. You can't do it. It's not good work. So Envy straight told Omi straight up, nah, hey, bro, nah, this not, this not. So this nigga knew this shit, knew this shit was a fraud and kept letting a lot of motherfuckers still, to invest. 
But and he was only doing my... it without with niggas without platforms. Right, niggas of that course. would put him on blast. So all these people oh, that you fucking you know, stealing little yellow piece of police kid ass nigga. Hold on, Tony, 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 Tony. Hold on, slow down. So isn't Caesar in jail right now? No, he's on he's on house arrest. And this nigga's on house arrest. They're okay, coming so you... to the nigga crib. He had a pistol in the crib, and he's still on house arrest. Because Caesar's cooperating too. Caesar's cooperating. And so how the fuck you said that there's a Nah, dog. If they quite come on, bro. There's a hundred million, bro. bro Don Omar, listen million. to this. Don Omar, the Latin star from Fast and the Furious, he brought me to his concert out here in Cali. Bro, he told me between him and his whole entire network, they got hit for twenty five million. Don Omar gave him five million himself. Cash. Niggas called Don. God damn. So how do hold on? So Don ain't gonna do nothing about it? Ain't no one gonna. I mean, come on, bro. There's there's no end game. There's no jail time for nobody. I mean. It's you, you nah, know, not in you, know some, as long some as you shit, some shit, don't uh, go to jail. You know, some, some shit, you know, it's gonna be just for some niggas, real talk. Like, I, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be dangerous for some niggas, yo. <laughs> hey, drop the beat. Hey, Wait, so hold on, Tony, talk. Tony, Tony, hold on. So, what is going on with the case right now? Do you know anything that's, I mean, is it is it still? Ongoing, or is it they just chilled out because they made a lot of money? He's still ongoing for sure. They got Caesar. He got. They keep pushing his uh his his uh his hearing back. There's all. There's like multiple. I mean, he's avoiding a trial. Dozen, a dozen plus lawsuits right now, and they they're trying to work out a plea deal with Caesar. Um, I don't know what they're doing with Envy. I think Envy and, and Caesar had an understanding like, hey, nigga, if shit go down, nigga, you got to take the fall. And I, I mean, that's what you would expect. He was the he was the big dog in the in, in the uh in the seat. It's like a nigga having a gun in the car. One nigga got you know ain't got no record. The other nigga got a. Okay, family. so for the love, so of Envy money. is it? So Envy, Envy's not them pretty much. What you say? I'm not doubting at this point. I, they haven't arrested anybody but Caesar, which I think is the craziest shit. The they, don't, they only arrest like, Caesar because they was they already spoke to Envy. Envy's a witness. He's no longer a defendant. And Caesar got caught up for the wire fraud. That's the charge. That's why he got this, arrested in twenty twenty. This, this shit though is like a clear like you know if, if you start doing any of your research, I just start letting niggas you know people were sending me everything. He got a he got a ton of victims, and these people was like really wanting their bread back so they sending me so much information i don't they gave me this nigga whole back like i mean his whole life story they got everything on this guy on mother day they were sitting outside in the mom crib do no envy. like these niggas want their bread back was diddy dead like, and so I don't know who <laughs> perhaps i don't know who was there outside of that but like you know what, it's, what it's would you, what would you, what would you like to see happen, Tony? Would you, I mean, aside from people getting their money, what type of consequences do you feel they should? Um, I mean, what type of consequences? Envy, Envy should get a chance to be my boss. Should Envy still be able to? Should Envy still be able to be out here publicly acting like nothing happened when he took a, you know, a platform and and, and let it abuse all those people? No, you are not poor people. Don't nobody care. So you think at, at bare minimum, Envy should be stripped of his? You 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 been you you allowed a, a hundred scheme to be promoted off your platform, and, and it was your your and your voice and your partner. That's you, a fact. Where you financially benefited, like where else? I mean, like it's just hey hey man, I, I think living in times that I'd be like, it feel like we living in the sim world. How the fuck is this nigga still on, on his job? I mean, I've got like, to let let nah, my. Charlemagne, man, Charlemagne is his man's man. You can't. can't do no, that, that ain't that ain't cry. that ain't why he's there. Because you got to understand something. When you decide when the, when the FBI start locking niggas up, before they lock anybody up, they already got everybody that's telling on you. So the day that they lock Caesar up, I already knew DJ Envy was telling. <laughs> For real, bro. Envy, Envy, I, I, I got the I got the recorded call with me. Envy, he been told me he was cooperating. I yeah, they said that, that he so would. They said that he would take this. Saying he said that he would take yeah, this against Caesar. Though. They said himself. Well, yeah, as long as you quail. Come on, I well, just had a dude in my case. This dude got locked up with. This dude got locked up with with, with fucking 
This dude got locked up fucking um um this nigga what how much eighty kilos and said he sold over um a fucking five thousand kilos in his life or some shit. And I had a tape of it of this dude saying that he lied to the FBI and they wouldn't even allow it in my trial. Because once you're down with them, you down with them. You can go catch a body and they'll act like you never did it. Like my lawyer represent dudes, he says, Listen, the F let these dudes do. These dudes so don't want to kill up? people. Huh? <laughs> what you said? Yeah, you setting the nigga up. That tape. <laughs> that's how you got that tape. Not a, um, another rat set him up. A rat, another rat that was telling on somebody, take them. And he told the rat, he told the rat, yo, I ain't tell the FBI everything. If I told them everything, you would be in jail. And he sent the tape to my lawyer. So now this is a part of my evidence because this nigga is not a, a reliable witness. He lied to the FBI. You get what I'm saying? So let me ask you, tell anybody who ever wants to speak on this, why do you think iHeart, forget the feds, why do you think iHeart is allowing to see at the station? I just he answered it. He's not, a, he's not a fucking, he's not a fucking plaintiff. He's not, he's not a defendant. But however, he's a he, did, he did use the platform. No, that's the thing. They, they lied on the, pla they, they lied they on the platform and everything. This nigga said they was giving out free houses, all kind of shit. He used that motherfucking platform to take so advantage you, of all kinds of people. Do you think people. there's other people involved at iHeart who was also eating? Hell all yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. They was they was busting. Uh, it's only right. Yeah. Well, hey look, hey look. When I start calling out names like Doc Winter and all that shit, that nigga had whack one hundred calls. Yeah. Mm. Is, is this all Dame Dash fault? Hey, hey, Charlie. So, but, yeah. So, your your shit with Aristotle, bro. Is that just a, did he just drop the Jay Morrison issue, or is that something else? I never had an issue with Aristotle. I just made a a point that you know we need to keep it what it is. Like to purchase that building was a bad real estate transaction, and it was a clout chasing move. You took advantage of ten thousand. I mean, fifteen thousand investors that just got scammed. I mean, people be I, trying to sit here and that's find the, new, that's the new kid that just bought that building, right? Yeah, like that was yeah, that, that shit. Mm -hmm. Like yo, that build that building is not worth what niggas paid for it. They that became that became like a clout chasing. Let me show you who, who you know I got cash type shit. Nobody, it was a, piss, it was a pissing contest. Yeah, that wasn't a good real estate transaction. They was that shit was about to go into foreclosure. That nigga wasn't making payments. So why would, you pay, why would you why would you pay over market? You can get it for listen. If niggas was really talking to business and it was gonna be for the community, niggas could have got together and be like, "Hey, yo, we can make a financially strategic move where we can get it for a good price because this nigga ain't making payments on." Oh, uh, if you go look up, if you go look up the mortgage, because first off, if you got if you understand what was going on with the legacy center, first off, they bought it all cash, they renovated and everything, they owned it free and clear. Then as Jay fucked up the money, he went and put a mortgage against the uh, the uh, legacy center. When they just looked at the last records of the uh, of the uh, mortgage, the uh, mortgage balance had increased by a hundred thousand. But what does that mean? There was no payment being made. Okay. Niggas be mad. They've been calling me a hater for five years, and I ain't been wrong. It's okay. We, we, uh, so, so what's the we, issues we with a Dame Dash and that? You might you know. might be hating on them because. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a hater. You might be wrong. <laughs> yeah, because for real, niggas from getting money, bro. But just because you're a hater, don't mean you're not telling the truth. No, That's real nigga. I'm hating but, and I'm telling the truth. Still kind of star. Yeah, we 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 live in the sim world. Until that shit be your money, you then you're, like back. Rocky. That's like how you was out there, motherfucker, with them uh them four X charts on your motherfucking stories. I ain't seen you talk about them motherfuckers in a long oh. time. You ain't seen me talk <laughs> about them. They tore your ass up, didn't they? You was in the forex. I was. I was mm -hmm. No, oh, I, I, got I got you. You was. You was one. Of the <laughs> shit you should be here. They, they, they got me bad with, with the auto bot and all of that. They got Five me bad. Links. What did these niggas out here scamming with these coins? You see got shit? Got them back. Don't worry about it, though. I got them back. Listen, all they, all they be doing is stealing from their own people. That if you really were smart, you could make money together. And that's why I be calling it out. Because it'd really be good people that's that. trying to make money with people. If you talk to some of the people that's victims, you'd be like, why would you fuck this nigga over? This is a good nigga. You should be making money with this. Like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? 
if you right. hear some of the niggas like they, yo the, the nigga that uh that they scammed for eight hundred thousand, bro the dude had an investor that was about to get these people a hundred million dollars like why would you scam this nigga out of eight hundred thousand when you about to get a hundred million instant gratification niggas is crazy bro mm -hmm. hey this shit don't even make sense i'm not I was listening to EYL back in the day, and uh, him, the person that got me in the credit, and then I listened back, and I realized, damn, this nigga low key teaching fraud. Like it kind of so low key. A, I told y'all niggas that y'all niggas called me a hater about that too. What the fuck did he I do? Was, I, was, I was called a hater. Yeah, bro. He so he was teaching him, niggas how to do bank fraud. Straight yeah, up. Basically, basically. Oh, oh, earn your leisure. He said it like he, he laid out the whole thing. Like you could. That that's low key my problem. That's with crazy. I brought it up last time, but it's just like. What the them, fuck? Them niggas be like they don't always be vetting the motherfuckers up there. That's not the only scamming nigga that's been up there. Oh, that's like, most that's most financial shows. I don't give a fuck if he white 65. The, you gotta vet them niggas. Any nigga in the financial world might not all be correct. But the uh, most places don't vet. Like if you look at shows on CNN, there's a lot of people. Yeah, I was just about to say that scammers is on CNN. Yeah. Hey, one thing. Here's my issue with it. I, I like Rashad and Troy. I think they're good dudes, man. I don't think they had any intention on like knowingly bringing people on the platform that that scam. But here's my issue with shit. It's like once y'all niggas know, because then niggas is behind the scenes be knowing, and they still be quiet and be letting them niggas come to the events and do all the other shit. So they still blending in the crowd. So the people never get an idea or get an alert that these people are frauds. Uh -huh. And that's a big issue. So you sit here, you done co-signed them and gave them the platform. Plus, you don't openly come out and say, hey, y'all, you got to be careful with these niggas. These niggas ain't doing right. Until, like, you know, I, I started recently hearing them now talk about, it. yeah, I got fucked out of this deal. Right? So when it happened to them, that's when they talk about it. But, like, yo, I just came from, I, I got so many people that saw me go go crazy at Jay Morrison that everybody just come at me like, I'm the scam buster. I'm like, hey, bro, I don't want to take on all this shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I just had an issue with a nigga that took on me. <laughs> I thought but, you was about to become but, a blogger, bro. I'm not going to hold you. I thought so, too, nah, but you can. I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a talent, man. I can do a whole lot of shit, but the reality is, like, I get bored and I go switch around because I done made a lot of money just being in that. Like, I done made, like, I'm up $20 million just fucking digital shit. I sold over 80,000 people fucking products. So I, I got the ability to really get online and just do it. I, I spent almost a million dollars on interviews and shit on my podcast. And have, like, you know, this money online is the best money. That's why I was telling you, everybody wants like, yo, everybody should be trying to get the online bag. If you're not getting a digital bag, you sleep. And that's just like, that's like where where everything is turning right now. It's literally the knowledge and, and like everybody on here got some type of experience that somebody else has paid you for, and you don't even think about that shit right now. But it's some that you know that somebody else don't know, and they pay you for it. And that's all I know. So many people now, and I created a whole another revenue stream because then you start how to do the shit that you do, and that's another yeah. high earning. This is a high earning. Yeah, I was I was now telling somebody like, hey, I said yo, how you do that shit. The motherfuckers in Atlanta. They learn how to do some shit for two days and they open up a school the next day showing people how to do it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, that. nigga, you've been doing this shit for two days. Products. Master a lot class. of people sell people products, but yeah. but you know, it, it just became who who's the best marketer, who can get it for like the right the big enough audience. That, that's why, you know, mail and all them platforms became kind of dangerous because people were leveraging those platforms to to you know they follow. So after you hooked the bank fraud, how much did you make? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell nobody that. <laughs> okay, I, say, yeah, I, I got to ask Danny yeah. and Jameson. Danny was stopping Jameson the question. We just got a comment. Somebody said that. Ask Danny and Jameson why they you, They said you clout chase them and use their spaces so you can build your space up. Oh, why did you clout chase them? That was Danny and them. Wait, what, what so, so Jameson, the dude right underneath you, uh, tags and the stock. Yeah. One of they they build it, they trying to be content or they are content creators. Oh, oh, I would oh, nobody be doing that's what they I not me personally, but what nobody I do. Fuck, but, I, uh, I respect everybody's shit. I don't care. I do. <laughs> okay, I'll get your money. 
Hey guys, real quick. Um, sorry to interrupt. I gotta get going. I gotta. Uh, I got. Before you shit. leave, before you leave, why did you let Johnny Dang give Rocky a grill instead of? Oh. oh so shit. Ben Ball, Ben Ball, if you if you look at the jumbo screen, you'll see uh Johnny Dang fitting me for grills. Now that was that was at the height of my media career. When <laughs> Also DJ, that was All Star Weekend in Houston. I DJed for Michael. Oh yeah, that was two thousand five, six. Yeah, I DJ for Michael Jordan's birthday, Rick Ross, etc. They invited me to their shop, myself, Paul Wall, and Rocker Flocker, because that was kind of a big deal. I got a fit for a um, for some grills that I never got, and it's funny. I run into Johnny. Day quite a few times and he's like like he don't speak no fucking english oh man um Just one you know you. even though uh jameson uh you know rocky's my guy we i'm, I'm part of aug um he gave the grill for free and i've made rocky a ton of shit but it doesn't really matter like i've made iconic stuff for him i don't have time to just be giving people thousand dollars with the shit for free i don't need it like I don't, for what 